Okay, well, uh, we put the clues together, we got it all worked out, and we think the answer is... Together, together forever! forever. isn't like you at all. I know, I know, I'm sorry. I just, I thought that if I took your brushes and if I took your things for tour that you would stay longer. We could be together a little longer. I mean, we're about to go on three really big adventures and I just don't know when I'm gonna see you guys again. I have something to tell you. Yeah? So, um, <laughs> at the end of opening ceremonies, I got a letter. It's from my agent in Manhattan, Limelight. You have an agent? I do, and um, I've been offered the role of Angelica Skymare in the Bridal Way production of, Ham of Hamilton. It's oh my gosh, what, what? Why didn't you say anything? That's amazing. That's my amazing. dream role. Yeah. I, I didn't say anything because I was upset when we started this. I, I just wanted to be able to keep you guys with me a little bit longer. And people do crazy things when they don't want to lose the people they love. Maine, we didn't mean to make you feel left out or jealous of our opportunities. I, I wanted to tell you so many times about all of this, about all of this. I just, with all of the people running around solving my mysteries and with Brony Palooza and walking around the artist alley, all of the events that we had to be at, there just wasn't time. And because I was guilty of being jealous, and because I just wanted this to be special, but I made a mess, and I stressed you out, and I'm, I'm sorry, but it's over now, and you... Hey, hey, it's okay. Listen, just because BronyCon is ending doesn't mean we're never gonna see each other again. Yeah, exactly. BronyCon is the whole reason that I got to meet my two best friends ever. And if you think just because we're going off to do new, different things that we're not going to be friends anymore, well, <laughs> you are sadly mistaken there. Mm -hmm. You can't get rid of us that easily. <laughs> nope. I know. <laughs> We've sure had some wild times, haven't we? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Every single year. The concerts have gotten bigger and bigger and better, and these musicians seriously know how to blow the roof off of this convention center. <laughs> and not to mention all the amazing talent in the talent show and all the merch in the marketplace. Ugh. My wallet is going to be hurting after this event. <laughs> there are just so many amazingly talented people in this community. Like our cosplayers, our talent show contestants. <laughs> Our amazing VIP guests. We've been able to make such amazing memories together. And I'm so glad I could share it with you. With all of you. That's right. From the very beginning. This was all about all of you guys. From our very beginning back in Manhattan to the move to Secaucus to our final home here in Baltimore. This whole thing could never have reached this scale without all of you guys, the fans. Woo. You guys, you created OCs and beautiful fan art, video games, music, costumes, fan fiction, and so much more, all because of the one thing that brought us together. My Little Pony helped some people discover their inner artist. It helped reignite the spark of creativity in others, and it even helped some find their calling in life, all because of this show. 
I mean, the title says it all, doesn't it? Some of you have met your best friends, <laughs> your significant others, your husbands, your wives. Some even have little fillies and colts of your own that you can share this show with. And you've gone on so many amazing experiences and you've grown together. All because friendship is magic. This isn't goodbye. This isn't goodbye. It doesn't matter if we're miles apart. We're still a part of each other and a part of you. So, continue to rock out. Continue to create. And continue to be you. And now, on behalf of all of our BronyCon staff, we want to say, Thank, Thank you, you for, for coming, coming to, to BronyCon 2019! <laughs> Thank you all so much again for coming, and good night, Baltimore. We're going to leave you with one last song to close out the event.
mics are not mute. I know you're busy here, but would it hurt to take a break, my dear? You're working yourself mindless, you'll drive yourself insane, you're pent up all alone, you're going down a lonely road, there's no shame in leaning on some pony else, so follow your story and follow your song. Lay down your soul at the fireside Lay down your burden and sing away your strife All this time you've been alone You don't have to be alone Just let go your inhibitions now Enjoy yourself Let the magic you to change but maybe we could rearrange Cause what fun's living life if you don't live it with some friends so you go your own way but you'll look back on life one day you'll see the wonders of being with others and wish you went out to play oh if 
Follow your story, follow your song, follow your friends when the days get long. Lay down your soul at the fireside, lay down your burdens and sing away your strife. All this time you've been alone, you don't have to be alone, no, just let go your way. Now enjoy yourself Let the magic fill your soul Follow your story, follow your song But follow your friends when your days get long Lay down your soul at the fireside Lay down your burden and sing away your strife Lay down your burden and sing away your strife All this time you've been alone You don't have to be alone Just let go your inhibitions now Enjoy yourself Let the magic fill your soul 